We're starting on page 116 right after this squiggly line. Make sure you have something to write with to make annotations on your copy of your book. If you don't have your book, you are making annotations on a piece of paper. Remember, you're looking for plot annotations, important things that are happening, character information, character feelings, anything important that happens, pause the video, stop, and make an annotation. This will help you with your genre-based thinking job at the end. Isabel sat with the babies while Esperanza went to sweep the platform. The camp was quiet, and even though it was late in the day, the sun was unrelenting. She retrieved the broom and stepped onto the wooden floor. Dried and brittle onion skins were everywhere. In her entire life, Esperanza had never held a broom in her hand. But she had seen Hortensia sweep, and she tried to visualize the memory. It couldn't possibly be that hard. She put both hands near the middle of the broomstick and moved it back and forth. It swung wildly. The motion seemed awkward, and the fine dirt on the wooden planks lifted into a cloud. Onion jackets flew into the air instead of gathering together in a neat pile like Hortensia's. Esperanza's elbows did not know what to do, neither did her arms. She felt streams of perspiration sliding down her neck. She stopped for a moment and stared at the broom, as if willing it to behave. Determined, she tried again. She hadn't noticed that several trucks were already unloading workers nearby. Then she heard it. First a small tittering and then louder. She turned around. A group of women were laughing at her, and in the middle of the group was Marta, pointing, La Cenicienta, Cinderella, she laughed. Burning with humiliation, Esperanza dropped the broom and ran back to the cabin. In a room, she sat on the edge of the cot, her face flushed again at the thought of the ridicule. She was still sitting there, staring at the wall when Isabel found her. I said I could work. I told Mama I could help, but I cannot even wash clothes or sweep a floor. Does the whole camp know? Isabel sat down on the bed next to her and patted her back. Yes. Esperanza groaned. I will never be able to show my face. She put her head in her hands until she heard someone else come into the room. Esperanza looked up to see Miguel holding a broom and a dustpan, but he wasn't laughing. She looked down and bit her lips so she wouldn't cry in front of him. He shut the door, then stood in front of her and said, How would you know how to sweep a floor? The only thing that you have ever learned was how to give orders. That is not your fault, Anza. Look at me. She looked up. Pay attention, he said, his face serious. You hold the broom like this, one hand here and the other here. Esperanza watched. Then you push like this, or pull it towards you like this. Here, you try, he said, holding out the broom. Slowly, Esperanza got up and took the broom from him. He positioned her hands on the handle. She tried to copy him, but her movements were too big. Smaller strokes, said Miguel, coaching, and sweep all in one direction. She did as he said. Now, when you get all the dirt into a pile, you hold the broom down here near the bottom and push the dirt into the pan. Esperanza collected the dirt. See, you can do it. Miguel raised his thick eyebrows and smiled. Someday you might make a very good servant. Isabel giggled. Esperanza could not yet find humor in the situation. Somberly, she said, Thank you, Miguel. He grinned and bowed. At your service, Mirena. But this time, his voice was kind. She remembered that he had gone to look for work at the railroad. Did you get a job? His smile faded. He put his hands in his pockets and shrugged his shoulders. It is frustrating. I can fix any engine, but they will only hire Mexicans to lay track and dig ditches, not as mechanics. I've decided to work in the fields until I can convince someone to give me a good chance. Esperanza nodded. After he left the room, Isabel said, He calls you me, Reina. Will you tell me about your life as a queen? Esperanza sat on the mattress and patted the spot next to her. Isabel sat down. Isabel, I will tell you all about how I used to live, about parties and private school and beautiful dresses. I will even show you the beautiful doll my papa bought me. If you will teach me how to pin diapers, how to wash, and... Isabel interrupted her. But that is so easy. Esperanza stood up and carefully practiced with the broom. It is not easy for me. Right, this is the end of your homework in this blank space right here, or on a paper if you don't have your book. You're writing your genre-based thinking job. C-S-C-R-T because it's fiction. If you're struggling with the conflict, think about what Esperanza didn't know how to do and how other people reacted to her 
when they saw her struggling. Okay, that will help you get started with your conflict. If you still need some help, please feel free to call me or come to office hours.